Well, from all cash offers to bidding wars, 2021 was a record year for real estate. According to new MLS data, the Phoenix area saw its highest sales volume ever, Tess. That's right. And now one month into 2022, the market, as we know, is still red hot. So Kylie joining us live this morning in Phoenix to explain what realtors are seeing and how much more prices could increase. Good morning, Kylie. Oh, good morning, guys. I've got some bad news, at least if you're trying to buy a home. You know, I talked to several realtors for this story, and they all say it has been off to a very busy and robust start. We're 31 days in. So what does this mean going forward? Well, one realtor, Asher Cohen, says it has been gangbusters. Here how he sums up the first month. This is the busiest January we've ever seen. Uh, there, there are a lot of buyers that are just having a really tough time in this market. And we are having a lot of conversations around that with them. You know, some buyers think that they're the only ones going through this, but almost every buyer is experiencing this right now. So it's, it's definitely a therapy session when, when helping buyers in today's marketplace. Valley Realtor Asher Cohen says his on-the-fence clients are acting quickly, trying to lock something in before rates go up again. It has definitely pushed people to say, okay, this is the time, so we're going to make it happen. Let's go home shopping. Let's get into this home. And at the end of the day, a lot of homeowners need to realize um, that if you're in a home for a long time, that, that little bit of you know paying a little bit extra for that home isn't really going to matter too much versus continuing to rent when you know you want to own. So guys, wow. I know it's a huge decision, but definitely something to think of as we kind of get a glimpse into 2022 and things are still red hot. Prices are still high and inventory very, very low. Yeah, that's the key right there. Great time to be a seller, not a buyer continues. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kylie.